30 something went into a paddock and up towards it. Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Suffolk Andy. And guess what? A windmill. A windmill. No church. That'll make a change. I don't know. Oh shit! A bloody church over there, look. Oh, I don't know. Well, <laughs> a windmill. I think that makes a little bit of a difference. So, anyway. Been out here having a lovely ride today. Done one vlog already. And I thought, why not stop, have a vape, and keep the camera rolling? Because we're in beautiful Suffolk country, as you can see. Absolutely lovely. Look at that, eh? And we're on our way back to Itchreach through Watley and uh, that way. Oh! Look, it's my ex-mother-in-law, look. <laughs> Eating the bones. <laughs> no, I shouldn't mind about my ex-mother-in-law's actually. I've never had a bad one, I must admit. They've all been good old girls. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, so I'll make my way back to Witches now. Look, so I've been out quite a while now. It's uh, now starting to get a little bit chilly. Uh, and uh, I think I've had enough, as they say. Right, what should we talk about today? Yeah, I think it's time I uh, bought a new crash helmet. This one has uh, all of a sudden got far too big for me. It's uh, coming up for five years old and, you know, it's done well. And it's now getting a bit too big for me. All I'm doing at the moment is just sort of slightly pushing it up, keeps riding down. Especially on this bike because you're in the sort of more of a sport sort of uh, position so it's time for a new one uh, I don't know about you boys and girls how long you keep your crash helmets I think the recommendation is about five years I think and I'm no expert on this so you know put me right if I'm wrong here uh, about five years I think is the uh, life of a crash helmet and I think it's something to do with uh, uh, the resins and whatever they make them out of uh, starts to go a bit brittle out of so many times if they're in the light and the UV light and all that sort of stuff and, and whatever. I think that's all to do with it. Like I say, I'm no expert on this, but uh, I know this crash out I've got on now is coming to the end of its life. Uh, the cheap pads and they're getting a little bit sort of flat and one or two little cracks in the uh, around the bottom here where the plastic goes around the back of your head. So I know it's time for a new Kalash helmet. So I think I'm going to get myself one in about a month's time. Uh, I always, I always go down to the big shops and try them on, and then I go online and buy them for a hundred quid cheaper because uh, you know that's the way to do it. Especially if you're talking about some of these uh, branded ones, you know, big branded ones. Uh, and we all have our favourites, don't we? We all have the ones that we like the best and, you know, and like me, after all these years, I uh, have my favourite, uh, favourite brand. It's not saying that I wouldn't change, because I would if I uh, tried to crash out on that really, really I liked. I would, uh, I would change. But uh, at the moment, I'm quite happy with the brand that I use. Uh, and I will probably go down to the shop. In fact, I might even go down today on the way home and try a couple of them on and see how I get on. And then go back online and order them sort of 100 quid cheaper. Uh, but I think you've got to make sure even online that you get them from a, a, a decent dealer because there's a lot of fakes about and they will fake anything. There's no doubt about that. They will fake anything. I couldn't believe the other day that uh, I was watching Fake Britain and they were faking head and shoulders shampoo. Now, honestly, would you believe that somebody would actually fake it and sell it as head and shoulders? The bottles look exactly the same. You, you wouldn't have known. And 
I know when Mrs P used to work for a very big company here, a uh, retail company, that they even got caught out with uh, washing powder. They bought all this washing powder. Uh, I'm not going to say too much, but they bought all this washing powder, put it up for sale, you know, cheap, and it all turned out to be bloody fake. But trust me, they put it through and they sold a lot. But uh, they did know, when they bought it they didn't know, but when they actually sold it at the end they knew they were selling fake and they sold it right the way through. But, you know... Okay. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Great, isn't it? But anyway, going back to Crash Helmets. Yes, Crash Helmets. The trouble is we've all got different shape heads. Some of us have got round heads, some of us have got little heads, some of us have got bumps and lumps, and we've all got different shaped heads. So I always pay you to uh, try on different crash helmets before you buy them off the internet because, you know, once you get one and you, you know, I always remember I bought an AGV uh, race hat crash helmet. Beautiful crash helmet, got it, stuck it on my head. No. Yeah, it fitted me, but it just felt so damn weird that I went for a ride with it on my head and I was like, oh, I can't bear this, that's just so uncomfortable. Uh, and luckily enough, that was a crash helmet that I gave to Aaron when he had his accident that saved his life. So, it, yeah, it worked out, it saved my son's life, so it just shows you, you know, how things work out, how things turn around and... At the time, I thought, well, I'll just waste myself, you know, four or five hundred quid and uh, give it to me boy, and I did give it to him, and it saved his life. So it's really strange how things work out, and I'm going all over the bloody place with this at the moment. So, anyway, yeah, back to the uh, crash helmets. Yeah, pay you to uh, try them on before you uh, purchase online, especially if you're going for. Uh, a brand that you've you know never tried before a little bit of a voice there not a lot of a voice because I'm no expert on it like I said but uh, so I think Andy needs a new crash helmet and uh, I'm going to get one yes <laughs> and the valley road which used to be the old bypass we've got uh, half a bypass now uh, around it we need a, a northern bypass but uh, our Tory masters won't uh, build it because it will go through their land. So we have to put up with just a half of a bypass for Ipswich. Uh, so our Tory, Tory masters will not build it because it's where they live and let that go through their bit of land. Yeah. Great, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Alright, what are we going to do? And, uh, yeah, 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 stay there, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, i got to get through here. i got to get through here. I'll do it. <laughs> Jeez, <bro. laughs> I know I could do it. <laughs> I knew it was always going to be a pinch point at the bottom there. I think I need some brake fluid actually. I was going to change the brake fluid on this bike. Oh no. Oh no. Look at that. What the hell? It's that two-wheeler thing that uh, Mr. B went on. I never knew they had one here. It says, test me. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. GSX S1000F. I will imagine that is mental. Mental as hell. But this thing... Two wheels at the front. No. <laughs> oh, I don't know.
Oh, I think I'm just going to get myself a vape now and uh, <laughs> anyway, all right, safe, love each other. Oh no, that looks terrible, doesn't that bike? <laughs> Something handy.